Okay. Are you are talking about, about the about Jesus, Wait a second. Wait a second. What, a, what about Jesus and your prophet mounting a nine-year-old? What about Jesus? Okay, wait a second. Jesus in Matthew 23 said, you Hi, Amazing Jesus. Welcome to Christianity over Islam with Shan Shimon. And on today's amazing debate, Muslims should not get mad with some. Let's watch this amazing video. Everybody's going to start cussing out right now. No, no, I'm not cursing. Look, I'm Muslim. I don't curse. I'm, I promise you. Okay, I'm not sure. Go ahead. Okay, so what about Aisha? Why do you keep talking about her? Like, why are you obsessed with like her age? Because I'm obsessed with a 54-year-old mounting a 9-year-old. Turns me on. Because Allah predestined me. I mean, you said that's okay? <laughs> Allah, Allah just predestined no. me to be obsessed with Muhammad no, a 9-year-old. No, no, no problem. I'll go back to the, to, to, to okay, the topic. So why don't you get to the point and stop speaking too fast like you're nervous. Unless Allah predestined that for you. Yeah, he actually did. But let me just ask you something. Yeah. Jesus said in Matthew 23, can you read it for us, please? Matthew 23. Oh, you're a crime, bro. Come on. <laughs> no, listen. Your God, Allah, decreed that I would embarrass you. So don't be upset at Allah's decree. No problem. Yeah, no problem. We'll see. We'll see. What about Matthew 23? Can you read it for us, please? Wait, are, are you? On, are I, you think, on... I think you're stupid. I think you meant Ezekiel 23, right? No, no. Matthew. Matthew. Oh, I mean, wait, what wait, wait, wait. Guys, guys, guys. Matthew 23. Uh, hey, bro. Bro. What, what's your, what, what can I call you, man? Because you don't. Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah. All right. Well, do you know what the topic is that we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, but like I would just want to go like on the age of Aisha first. What's the what's the topic that we're? Oh, you want to talk? You want to talk about the age of Aisha? No, no, no. First, I know the topic uh, correctly. You saying about the predestined, like Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, uh, like the Qadr, which is predestination. Okay. So uh, you agree? With like, that? Yeah, no problem. I'll look, I'll explain it to you simply. Okay. okay. Are you are talking about, about the age of Aisha. Jesus, wait a second. Wait a second. What, a, what about Jesus and your prophet mounting a nine-year-old? What about Jesus? Okay, wait a second. Jesus in Matthew twenty-three said you have to follow the Pharisees and the people, the teachers of the law, because they said no. You're lying. Teachers. You're lying. Okay, open Matthew 23. Finish, finish it, Matthew 23. Okay. I'm going to use the yeah, first. I will finish it. Let me finish that. Let Take me talk it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Stop talking the Quran. Take it easy. <laughs> you read it all the way, Matthew 23 to 34. The same Jesus says, what they tell you from Moses, you do. But then he yes. says, I will send you. You want me to finish or you want to bark Quran? Either I will finish. send you prophets. So I'm going to use Jesus to bury you and your Quran because your Quran does come from the Talmud, which is. I mean, false. have some respect. Have some respect. Okay, respect uh, well, you. if your prophet had no respect, he said, bite okay, your father. So Okay, I'll explain it to I'll explain it to you. It's great for me to disrespect you. Zip it. Okay, now open okay, up Matthew okay. 23 for me. Open Matthew 23, please. Yeah, okay. Take it easy. Shh. Let, let me speak. speak. Not, let me speak. Shh. Let me speak. Shh. 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 <laughs> that is the creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open up Matthew 23. That's what Jesus teaches you? Okay, no problem. Go ahead. No, that's what I'm following you, son of your prophet. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Be careful because if I was, then I'd have to behead you and take your wife. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, that's what Jesus said too. Yeah, Matthew 23. Why can't I bury this pagan for lying about Jesus? Let's see. Yeah. Keep right. No, no, read the no, beginning, read, read, the, beginning. This is gonna read say, the beginning, read the beginning, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, when being beginnings will be janazah for your prophet. Take it easy, don't yeah. manifest. Lick the black stone a little bit, calm down. Read it for us. He thinks I don't know this Keep on disrespect, then okay, no problem, no problem, go ahead. Your prophet is a disrespect to humanity, shut up. No, dude. no, first, first, I'm talking to you respectfully, so you have to so have, so have some respect. Read, you know? ish, yes. ish, down girl. Read. Bro, don't talk to me like that. I'm not your slave. Shut okay. up, dude, come on. Come on. Uh, so can we read the, can we read the verse, can Muhammad, yeah. please? Can you, read, can you read the first logic? Please? So it says, Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. So do and observe whatever they tell you, but not the works they do. Oh, or they Keep preach, no, 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 but stop. do not practice. Yeah, keep, reading. Keep, reading. keep reading. Keep reading. They Someone tie up heavy them. burdens. They okay. tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on people's shoulders. But they themselves are not willing to move them with, the, with their finger. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for the, for they make uh, their phyla phylacteries broad and their fringes long, and they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by others. But you are not to be called a rabbi, for you have one teacher. You are all brothers oh. and call no man your father on earth oh. for you have one father who is in heaven oh. neither be called instructors for you have one instructor the christ <gasps> the greatest among you shall be your servant whoever exalts himself will be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted Keep reading. Don't but stop. woe to you scribes and pharisees hypocrites that's right like muhammad the monafic mm -hmm. keep going yeah, yeah. Keep going. yeah just like or you shut the kingdom 
Yeah, you take it. Look, I'm going to stick to you. No, 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 keep reading. No, no, we don't want to hear you. Come on, come on. Take it easy. Yo, Logic, let me just tell you something. I'm respecting this man, right? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, no. I'm talking to you respectfully. Don't guess like that. I'm not playing. I'm not playing games with you, okay? All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, keep reading. All right. For you shut the kingdom of heaven in people's faces, for you neither enter yourselves now, logic, before you finish i'm just talking about uh, him because he thought he read matthew understood it so if they shut the kingdom people's faces he wants us to believe that jesus is saying now follow them into hell follow what they say about moses do not follow okay. what they, no, they follow no he didn't say what they say because when they send to moses see do what they say because that means when they quote yes. moses Yes. Keep reading. Okay, keep reading. Go ahead. Yeah, keep reading. Because I know where you want to go. Numbers. Because I'm going to use numbers to do your job. No, I'm not going to numbers. I'm not going to numbers. I promise no, you. We'll, we'll do a job. I'm not going to numbers, but go ahead. Yeah. All right. Uh, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you travel across the sea and land to make a single proselyte. And when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a, a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you blind guides who say if anyone swears by the temple it is nothing but if anyone swears by the gold of the temple he is bound by his oath you blind fools for which is greater dang jesus the gold or the temple that has made the gold sacred and you say if anyone swears by the altar it is nothing but if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar he is bound by his oath you blind men dang jesus for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And whoever swears by the temple swears by it and who and, and by him who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you tie the mint and dill uh, human that have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. You blind guides straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. <laughs> Dang, Jesus. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean out for you clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but, in, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and the plate, that the outside also may be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within are full of dead people's bones and uncleanliness. So you also outwardly appear righteous to others, but within you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the monuments of the righteous, saying, if we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you witness against yourselves that you are the that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you brood of vipers. How are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes. Some of whom hey, dude, can you mute your mic with the noise in the background? Yeah, you paying attention, uh, Muhammad? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Go ahead. My bad. Stop, stop playing. But so therefore, I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify. Wait, and Jesus some... does what? He sends prophets? Uh, Jesus he... sends the prophets and the scribes oh, yeah. and the wise so men. The prophets. Okay. Mm. Richard, come, come back to that. But go ahead. Only God does, I think. Um, some of whom you will kill, crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and persecute from town to town so that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth from the blood of righteous abel to the blood of zechariah the son of barakai whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar truly i say to you all these things will come upon this generation 
Keep going. Is it, is it yeah, good? 39. Or... 39. Let him finish oh. it. Then you can bring up Moses so we can have a field day. All right. Oh, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. The city that killed the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathered her brood under her wings and you were not willing see you see your house is left to you desolate for i tell you you will not see me again until you say blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord so bring up your objection from genesis or whatever it is so i can have a field day at your expense but which i'm not gonna do the one okay, gonna do you said moses bring up your point go ahead i'm waiting I did not see. I did not say Moses. Okay, I just read the verse to you. Okay, now I like I sent a link. I want you to. Uh, I want you to open it, please. If you mind. What's that got to do with the context where Jesus condemns Pharisees like he condemned Muhammad? <laughs> first, he's talking about. What's your argument? Follow. Get your argument. Okay, so first, 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 okay. Oh my God, bro! Okay, get look, to listen. your argument. Listen, then, then listen. Argument. Stop interrupting me. Listen. Okay, get to your argument. Okay, Jesus said, "Follow the teachers of the law," because they said that Moses. No, said. that's not what he said. Okay, okay. You just read in let's front assume. of you. Let's, let's assume he didn't say, okay? Can you no, please open the link? Say. Open the Mishnah? No, because the Mishnah is written when? Before Jesus. Give me the actual scholar data that says the Mishnah is before Jesus. Oh, wait, okay. Bro. You're lying. Mishnah is first, not before first, Jesus. First, I'm not a bastard like you, okay? No, no, okay. you are. Son of Why? Muta is no, good. No, you're, first, no you're it's God not good. I'm not Shia. I'm not Shia. I'm not Shia, buddy. I'm not no, Shia. No, no, it's okay. You do Messiah, which is worse. Okay. I do not do Messiah. Messiah is not even worse. When was don't, don't stop marking? Don't jump. Don't on. jump. Let when me speak. Let me speak. When was the written, you son of Satan? Let me speak. Let me speak. When was the Mishnah written? I don't care when I don't know what, what, what no was we it. do see then why'd you lie you said before Christ it's after Christ you son of Muta that's number one first number, two. Down, son of Muta. Okay, number first. two where did Jesus Listen. say follow the Mishnah when he says when they sin on the law of Moses do what they say meaning when they read the law of Moses and then the very chapter condemned them to hell for being like your prophet First, I'm not talking about this I'm not talking about this first listen to me okay listen let me just, let me say something We're listening first. Okay, Jesus said, "Follow the teachers of the law and the first." Did the he Pharisees. say that, in, uh, uh, Chef? Because they said that Moses seed. No, no, right? Moses seed doesn't mean follow what they say. So they said Moses okay. because they read the Torah. Okay, so you just quoted Rashi earlier, right? You Mishnah said, is not Torah. I know. I you know understand? I know you want to be with me. Is Mishnah the Torah? <laughs> no. Listen. Okay. So get to the like, point before we send you to Mecca to get yeah, the Yeah, Mama, how if if Jesus is telling them because they're sitting on Moses' seat, so do and observe what they tell you from Moses' seat, meaning the Torah, what, what does the Mishnah have to do with this? Exactly. Okay, I sent you something. Can you please open it? Yeah, he wants to open something. He thinks he's going to yeah. justify Muhammad. That, that, that doesn't answer the question. No, what does he look? Mishnah? Earlier you quoted Rashi. Earlier you quoted Rashi. No, and Rashi said why that Rebecca was three years old. Why did Moses, I? I'm yeah. glad you brought up Rebecca because I'm going to use her to bury Muhammad. But you mentioned Rashi, right? Okay. Yes. Number one, let me refute you because I know part of the Sunnah is to be Ummi. I didn't quote Rashi because I agree with Rashi. I quote Rashi to show that he believes Daniel 7 is about King Messiah, which means if you believe Jesus Messiah, then that means Daniel 7 is saying Messiah is Muhammad. So you're taking someone you live in some. So you're taking someone you live in some. You're not, you're not, you're not going to take every single No, no, I don't. I, I, Rashi's on my authority. Jesus okay. is. Okay, 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 let's assume it's not so yours. Stop let's, let's parking. Hear. Calm down. down. Shh, breathe. Shh, calm down. Okay, stop number back. two. Take it easy, man. Breathe. It's okay. I'll let the clean. Okay, go ahead. Go I'll ahead. have to look. Number two. The Mishnah, you lied. You said it's before Christ, after Christ. I didn't lie. The very know. chapter you quoted, Jesus said, these Pharisees in Tijalah are like Muhammad. They are sons of the devil. They are hypocrites. And Jesus said he's going to send us prophets that we're going to follow him, not them. So thank you for quoting a verse that says, that we don't follow Muhammad because he's not a prophet sent by Jesus. So what's your point now? Get to your point. First, let me let me speak, okay? Let's assume, let's assume I quoted something wrong, okay? Which is not, which was in the old times. Okay, let me speak, let me speak, let me speak, let me speak. God, not let me stop speak. Stop barking, I'm not your okay, dimmy. No problem. Get to the point. Look, you are so dis disrespectful, okay? Yeah, no I'm problem. acting like your prophet who said, bite your yeah, father. No yeah, so like what, is, what is, no Muhammad, what does the mission have to do with it when he's yeah. not telling them to follow the mission? He's not telling them to follow. He's not telling them to follow the Mishnah. He's telling them, he was telling them about the age of consent back then, and he what? said in the Mishnah, the age of consent, like before the Jews. What, what, what the the no, stop! 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 The reason yeah. why I'm stepping in here, like you you had us read Matthew 23, 
I did not have it. He told you to read it, not me. No, but but oh, you quoted, you, you're the one who, who yeah, quoted that. You got a recorded hearing, hearing, you son of Muta. You lied again. First, don't say the son of Muta. You're son of Muta. Well, it's, it's, it's a compliment because you're prophet. No, it's not a compliment. Like, that's, a woman. That, that's enough. That's enough. This is this is wild. It's a wait, guys. This, he got upset that I said son of Muta. Hold on, guys. Wait, hold on. I remember. I'll let you create all this. This is wild. Did Muhammad? Did Muhammad allow Muta? Yes, he did. Weren't there many people who were sons of Muta? Yes. So why is he upset? That's a compliment, dude. Yeah. No, honestly, uh, tell me if I'm yeah. wrong. I, I don't know, but okay, I, I, I don't. I don't know why these guys come on here as, as if, as if we're not recording. Yeah. As 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 if we're not recording, guys. You just said you're the one who came up here and you mentioned Matthew 23, the reference where Jesus and you misquoted him, by the way, where he says, "As they sit on the seat of of Moses, do as they do and observe what they tell you." And you tried to you misquoted him to try to say that you, that Jesus said you have to follow the Pharisees. Sam caught you on that lie. He caught you on your lie when you said that the Mishnah was before Christ. No, it's after. 200, Christ. Yes, two hundred A.D. Which then now I'm asking you, what does this have to do? What does the Mishnah have to do with what Jesus said here, which was your first reference? And you said you didn't quote you didn't quote Matthew twenty three. Uh, how got man? What what, what yeah. are we doing here, man? By the way, just to let you guys know. I want you to know my strategy, just so people may don't understand why I do that. I want them to acknowledge by the reaction how filthy Muhammad was for sanctioning Muta. You see how he got angry? Guys, just for the record, so because you probably don't know this, I've shared in my stream. When I call Muslim son of Muta, I want them to react because they know Muta is disgusting. What's Muta for you who are not Christians? I'm sorry, not Muslims. Muta is a practice of Muhammad allowed, even in Sunni tradition, where Avery, let's say he's a jihadi. He's a jihadi. He goes, finds a woman and tells her, I'm going to marry you three days and then I'm going to pay you and divorce you. Now, guys, if I were to go to a woman and say, I'm going to marry you for three days and divorce you and pay you, what would we call it today? We'd call it prostitution, right? We'd call yeah. it prostitution. Now, to show them how filthy their Muhammad is, now the Sunnis say it was abrogated. The Shias say, no, it's not abrogated. It's halal. When I call them son of Muta, it's because I want them to get angry because they realize it's an insult. But you wicked sons of the devil, if you understand to be the son of Muta, the offspring of a man and woman who did Muta, as your hadith say, there were many children born from Muta, and you see it's an insult, you just condemned Muhammad to hell. You see how stupid you guys are? Yep. See, they don't see. I may have, I may look dumb. I'm not as dumb as I look. It's called chess, my brother. Chess. So thank you for getting angry when I call it because ask the Sunni. According to your Sunni tradition, Muhammad al Muta? Yes. Were there children born from Muta? Where the mother got pregnant from this temporary marriage? Front? Yes. So they were sons of Muta. It's a compliment. Why are you upset? Because they know deep down inside, this is prostitution. You're treating women like prostitutes. And I don't know if I can use the word, but prostitutes. Yeah, you can say prostitutes. Okay, but the other word, the H, W, H, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, no, just say prostitutes. Okay, prostitutes. <laughs> so that's why they get it. Why? You should be saying all ham to Allah. I'm a son of Muta, like many of Muhammad's companions sire children from Muta. You wicked sons of the devil. Wow. Why are you angry? See, you stupid, you know how stupid you are? Thank Jesus for exposing your filthy prophet. But anyway, go ahead, brother. I'm, I'm here. Yeah, so let's bring up one more guest. This will be the last one. And then uh, address a couple of questions from the Super Chat. From the Super Chats. But yes. Thank you guys for, for the giving. And make sure you guys, by the way, make sure you guys hit the like button. Don't forget to do that. If you guys enjoyed this conversation. We also, we will be back here tomorrow. Um, yeah, sure. Resuming this discussion. A lot of must have to come on up. What's up? You enjoyed this, huh? Predestination. I, I love it, man. I, I love it. I love now it. you got the article, so start I, slaughtering, I, I, baby. I usually use I usually use the uh, the hadith. I got all the hadiths on that, but the Quran verses that you use, man, that's I, I you know no excuse now. You know what I mean? So yeah. Welcome back. Hope you learned from this amazing video. Please do it to like, subscribe, hit on the notification button, so that each time we drop our amazing videos, you'll be notified. And do it to write in the comment section whatever thing you've learned from this amazing video. As you can see in this video, this Muslim guy came up sharply and was claiming to say that Muhammad is the best prophet 
ever written in the in the Quran and is also found in the Bible. And Saint Shimon told him that do you know what pisses him off in this Islam in Islam religion? He said, No, that why will you be serving a prophet that at the age of 55 he got married to a girl at a very age of six years old? Why she was still playing with toy and this guy was was really proud of islam and he said yes that that is his pattern of religion and some asking that so will you be happy of you carrying your six old daughter giving it to an old man and he kept quiet <clears throat> and he was trying to bring a point in the book of matthew chapter 3 where jesus christ said to the jews that you walked openly but in your heart you did not serve him genuinely that this he came to say that this is same thing the christians are doing that they do their things openly but they don't serve god with their heart for them the islam they serve their allah with all of their heart so if he claims that they serve the allah with all of their heart so they mean that they are serving the the right god who they claim they are serving then immediately saint shimon come came in and began to give him proof and began to tell him that the ally you are serving is a demon is not even it is not even god that is in heaven that you guys are serving and immediately this guy started manifesting started shouting yelling at saint shimon and Sam was just laughing at this guy because he was not even ready to listen to Sam Shimon because he claims to say that everything he's saying is right. And at the end of this, God logic ends the debate with the Muslim guy. And Sam began to scold and said, This is the main reason he don't like debating with young Muslim guys because they are not even ready to listen to the to listen to the debate or listen to what they are debating but rather tap dancing and bringing things which are not even which are not in the in the alignment of the debate which they are debating so thanks for watching this amazing video hope to see you in our next debate